Have you ever wondered how kangaroos hop? Let's dive into the world of these fascinating creatures. Kangaroos are special animals that call the wide open spaces of Australia their home. They love munching on grass, leaves, and even flowers. But what really sets kangaroos apart is their unique way of getting around. Instead of walking like most animals, kangaroos hop. They have very strong back legs that act like powerful springs. Each time a kangaroo wants to move, it uses these muscular legs to launch itself forward. But how does a kangaroo keep from tumbling over when it hops, you might ask? Well, that's where their large, sturdy tail comes in. It acts like a balancing pole, keeping them steady as they bounce along the ground. Isn't that impressive? So now you know why kangaroos hop. But do you know how high they can jump? Did you know a kangaroo can jump higher than a grown-up can reach? Quite impressive, isn't it? Now let's delve into the world of these fantastic jumpers. You see, a kangaroo can leap up to three times its own body length in a single bound. Imagine that! That's as high as a basketball hoop. It's like having your own personal trampoline, but without the trampoline. But why do kangaroos jump so high, you may ask? Well, it's not just for showing off. Kangaroos use their super jumping powers mainly to escape from scary predators and to travel quickly across their home terrain. It's their way of saying, catch me if you can, to any creature that dares to chase them. So the next time you see a kangaroo hopping around, remember, it's not just a hop, it's a super jump. Wow, kangaroos are amazing jumpers, aren't they? But what about baby kangaroos? Are they born able to hop and jump? Guess what? Baby kangaroos aren't born ready to hop and jump. These tiny tots, known as joeys, begin their journey in life much smaller than you might expect. In fact, they're no larger than a grape when they first see the light of day. But don't worry, they're not left to fend for themselves. Instead, they have a cozy, warm pouch waiting for them. This pouch, a special feature of their mom, becomes their home for the next nine months. It's here they grow and develop, safe and protected. During this time, they feed on their mother's milk and learn all about the world from the safety of the pouch. Slowly, but surely, they start growing bigger and stronger. And then, one day they're ready. Ready to hop out of the pouch and start exploring the world on their own. So from tiny joeys in a pouch to big kangaroos hopping around, these amazing animals sure are full of surprises. Kangaroos are not just about jumping and hopping around, they also have a fascinating social life. Kangaroos are social animals that often live in groups known as mobs or troops, which are typically led by the strongest male. In these groups, they graze together, rest together, and look out for each other. They even engage in play fighting, a way for younger kangaroos to practice for future bouts. But don't be fooled. When it comes to real fighting, it can be a serious business, especially if it's for the position of the mob's leader. Kangaroos use their powerful hind legs and tail to balance while they box with their front paws and sometimes even kick with their hind legs. Now that's a sight to behold. So whether they're hopping around, raising their joeys, or socializing in their mobs, kangaroos are truly unique creatures with a captivating way of life. Sign off. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more fun and educational videos about the animal kingdom. Thanks for watching.